As the only association for the professional garden designers in the UK, working with a registered member of the Society of Garden Designers will offer you all the reassurance and peace of mind you need. I think working with a garden designer is, is similar to working with an architect and with an interior designer, but we kind of fuse the two things together. So you're expected to know lots about plants, site, situation. You have to know lots about the infrastructure, but also how to light it, how to dress it. You are really both jobs kind of amalgamated into one, as well as a plant doctor. All the designers listed on our website are registered. This means they have been assessed by the Society of Garden Designers to ensure their work is of the highest standard and that they follow our code of professional conduct. It was really important for us to be able to trust the designer we appointed and um, for that reason we needed to establish that they had a professional background and the appropriate qualifications that left us feeling comfortable. If you want to create a brand new garden or you are simply looking for a creative planting plan, a registered member of the Society of Garden Designers can help you. So when we take a brief from a client, we would begin by walking around their garden, get to know them as a person, and I'm looking for visual clues of things that they really like to kind of conjure up ideas and images of what they might like outside in their new garden. What we look out for when we meet a client is how do they live? What is it that the garden's going to give them that's going to get them out there and actually using it as much as possible throughout the year? We ask quite a lot of uh, questions and we will walk around the site and really just look at the limitations and the opportunities of that site with the client and from there we will then start to draw out quite a detailed brief. Before appointing Helen we thought about the garden a great deal. Um, we drew inspiration from places we'd visited and places we'd seen. Um, we read widely, looked at things on the internet and communicated our ideas with Helen mostly by uh, talking to her. You're trying to sort of see past what's currently there and you're really trying to get an understanding and the feel and the atmosphere of that site and looking for borrowed landscape. You know, what are the opportunities? Where is it sitting? How is it relating to that landscape? Every garden has to be unique because essentially you start off by working around the architecture of the space, trying to get the essence of the place and you work, then work around the client. So each garden ends up being completely different. It's a very personal thing and I'm, I'm designing a space that they're going to live in. They're going to arrive home from work every single day and look at my creation. But we have to be very mindful that if we ask a client questions about how they currently use their garden, they are going to give us a very limited set of responses. So it's more how they would aspire to use that garden and that's what we need to really delve into and get an understanding of. Most of my job is about educating clients on what, what is possible and it's an amazing feeling two years down the line when they are sat in the garden drinking a glass of wine, they send you a picture and say, wow, you nailed it. When you choose to work with a member of the Society of Garden Designers, you can be certain that you and your garden are in safe and capable hands. I'm extremely process driven, so we have our 10 stage process, which gets you from initial consultation right through to the aftercare. And that starts off with taking the brief, then we move to a concept plan after we've had the survey done. And then we would do some construction drawings, which are all drafts at first. Then we make working drawings. Those drawings get tweaked as we move along the project management process. And then we implement the garden, finishing off by planting and then adding the accessories, which really give the wow factor to the garden. So we're design specialists, so we are able to take the brief of the client, create a design, and then we can be involved at different stages throughout the process and we can tailor that package to the needs of the individual clients. There are th roughly three main stages. There's the concept design stage, then the design and management side, where we then create the drawing packs that everything is costed from and, and built from. And then of course the build starts, and from then on we're managing and monitoring the build till completion. The whole process takes around three months from the initial consultation through to getting the construction drawings, having put the project out to tender. And then the build process can be anything from four weeks to a year, depending on how big the project is. So often a lot of our projects are quite complicated, so we might often need to call in a lighting designer, a structural engineer, uh, we might also need to call in a water feature specialist, a range of different specialists and other professionals that we would work in, and it varies from project to project. Site visits are absolutely key. Once the project starts, it's our way of ensuring that the quality is exactly what we had promised the client at the beginning. And those site visits are at all the key stages of the build until we can essentially sign it off with the client at the end. 
when we wanted to start and we were ready to go, things moved very fast. We've got the guys on site and uh, they've been here ever since and Lee's been here two or three times a week, paying a lot of attention to what's been done and uh, I'm very confident that the end product is going to realise our dreams. Whatever your budget and whatever type of garden you have, there is an SGD garden designer to suit you. When we look at the amount of money that we've spent, the value added to the house, it's well worth it. And I know for the rest of the time that I'm here, whether it's 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, I'm going to enjoy it and then it's money well spent. When choosing a designer, look out for the registered member logo to give you all the reassurance and peace of mind you need. It's very important for our clients that we are members of the Society of Garden Designers because it gives them that reassurance. They know that we have aspired to be as good as we can possibly be and that we continue to maintain those standards. And when you're investing a lot of money in your garden, you want to know, you want the peace of mind, the insurance that you're going to get someone who's going to give you a good result. The one thing that I would say is that by employing the professional garden designer, we avoided many of the pitfalls that would have been in our path that we tried to do it ourselves. The, once we started work on the garden, the whole process worked really incredibly smoothly. We're quite lucky and we get to design gardens for a living and we will you know, for the rest of our lives, but this may be the only chance the client gets to create a garden. And so right from the beginning, we're pushing them to be as ambitious as they can, and in turn, they get to push us as well. And we create something marvellous together. Use the Find a Designer facility on our website to find the right registered member for you.